I've been getting back to some breaking news that we're tracking here in Spokane. Spokane fire crews are responding to a natural gas leak in Spokane's Logan neighborhood. And right now, crews are evacuating the Gonzaga University dorms. You can see there on your screen a map of that area. Fire crews say the leak is near Hamilton and Cataldo. They say the call came in about 40 minutes ago around 730. And right now, they're just asking people to avoid that area. There are several streets that are closed surrounding this leak. Now, right now, we do have Creme 2's Dana Marie McNichol on the scene. Dana Marie, what can you see? Hi, good morning, Jen. So just moments ago, this whole area was full of the students that were just evacuated outside of Coughlin Residence Hall. Now, only two dorms, Coughlin and CM, right over to my right-hand side, are the only two dorms that are currently being evacuated right now. I spoke with an employee, the director of plant services here, um, just moments ago, and he told me that the leak is not related specifically on Gonzaga's campus. As you mentioned earlier, um, it is in the Logan neighborhood. He told me that an excavator hit the gas line on, on Hamilton. Um, you can smell, you can physically smell the gas in the air right now. I'm on campus and it's apparent that there is a gas leak in the area. The alarms are going off in Coughlin. Again, only Coughlin and CM right now at this moment are being evacuated. Students were told um, by their resident hall um, director that go to Hemmingson, which is where um, the dining hall is. That's where they're going to be for the remainder. They told students it could be five minutes. It could be even two hours. They don't really know a time of when they can get back in. Um, Plant, the director of plant services here at Gonzaga told me that Avista does know about the leak and they told Gonzaga University that they don't necessarily know also um, how much time it's going to be taking to figure out um, and be able to let those students back in the hall. Um, right now there is the Spokane Fire Department in the lobby of our Coughlin residence here on Gonzaga campus um, and they're checking out just to make sure um, we don't have we haven't spoken to the Spokane Fire Department just yet but right now I can tell you that Coughlin is fully evacuated from students and so is CM's dorm um, again this is a gas leak not on Gonzaga's campus but across the street um, I was told that an excavator hit a line um, so that's what we have right now. We'll be updating you with any new information that we have here on Gonzaga's campus. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Dana Marie, stick with me just one second, just to confirm the students are out of the dorms now. Yes, students are out of Catherine Monica dorm and Coughlin dorm, and they were told to go to Hemmingson, which is the main, um, you know, student center on campus to get some breakfast while they wait. They don't necessarily know exactly how long this is going to be this morning. Mm -hmm. That's what a resident director told me, and that's what um, the director of plant services, who also takes care of the fire alarms in all of the residence dorms. And it appears that still obviously a very active scene. Are there more crews that are still arriving to that area? Um, it doesn't seem that way. We um, all th this road here on campus is completely blocked off right now. We have um, two fire trucks. Actually, yes, Jen, there was just one that arrived here now. We have three full fire trucks on scene um, taking care of this active um, gas leak that's happening across the street. It looks like a little bit further down we have some more um, Spokane Fire Department presence as well. Um, but what I can tell you right now is their, their first priority was making sure all the students got out of the dorms. Um, but you can smell it in the air, Jen. I mean, there is an apparent gas leak here across the street. All right, Dana Marie, thank you so much. You can go ahead and get to a safe location. We want to make sure that everyone uh, on the ground there is safe. But we do have a notice for our drivers in that area. Of course, Spokane fire crews are just asking people to avoid that area. Right now, we know Hamilton is closed from Sharp to Trent, and some streets will be blocked off as far east and west as Columbus and Cincinnati. And streets will be closed for at least the next half hour. So if you have plans that take you through, that area, maybe your morning commute, you might want to plan a different route this morning. Uh, Vista and fire crews are on scene working to get that leak under control. Again, if you're just joining us, there's been a natural gas leak near Hamilton and Cataldo. That's in the Logan neighborhood, uh, just near Gonzaga University. Our crews on the ground telling us at least two dorms on campus have been evacuated and that all students are out of the dorms now and in their dining hall.
The call came in around 730 this morning and again several streets blocked in that area. Fire crews are asking people to just avoid that area while they get it under control. Of course, this is still a developing story. You can stick with Up With Creme for updates. You can also find updates right now on Creme.com and the Creme 2 app.